it's cold, it's wet, there's even ice crusted on the outside of this tent. Not many people would think that this would be a good place to live, but for one Toronto woman, this tent is a safe haven. I'm Brandon Rowe in Toronto with an update on Danny Store, a woman living with multiple chemical sensitivity. It's scary. It's like, I don't know, probably the worst ways to die would be freezing to death. Oh. Danny's chronic condition makes her extremely sensitive, which can cause severe physical reactions when exposed to certain chemicals, such as perfumes, cleaning products, and personal hygiene products. She quit her job and moved out of her apartment as her health worsened. She's been living in a tent for months now, and as temperatures drop and the snow begins to fall, every day is becoming more of a struggle. It's just scary waking up inside a tent full of, like it literally looks like an ice cave because it's white in there and part of it is clear. So if I was hoping to be camping in an ice cave, that would be great, but that's not what I was hoping for. We reached out to the city councillor in the ward where Danny is staying and were told that the homeless initiative and prevention services did offer Danny help, but she declined. So I kept telling them that I can't go to a shelter because there's a lot of the things that are used in shelters will make me really sick. Immediate contact for the homeless initiatives and prevention services told City News that while they can't comment on an individual situation, work can be done to help people suffering from MCS. It's all about the specifics of the situation, what chemicals trigger a reaction, and housing workers very, very frequently work very, very hard with individuals to, uh, to meet their needs. A 2007 report commissioned by the Canadian Human Rights Commission states that approximately 3% of Canadians have been diagnosed with environmental sensitivities, including MCS. One of those patients is Benita Poulin, who quit her job and moved to rural Ontario over a decade ago. Poulin sympathizes with Danny and says the best solution is to move out of the city. We have to become self-sufficient and just stop waiting for other people to solve our problems. they got to stop waiting for somebody else to... Stop using perfume or to for landlords to, to stop using pesticides or, and stop being so reliant on municipal affairs and start looking after themselves. Right now, Danny is hoping city officials can help her find safe, chemical free accommodations or else her Christmas holidays will be spent alone in a tent. In Toronto, Brandon Rose, City News.